It's homework time. Yes. Let's do it. All right. Start by jotting your name down at the top of your paper. If you turn this stuff in, which I'm assuming you do, you want to get credit for it. Don't write my name, though. Write yours. And for today's date, you write the actual date. I'll write today because, hey, it is today. We are going to, number one, express the lengths of the shaded parts in decimal form. So we're just going to write in as a decimal how much is shaded here. Then we'll write a sentence, like words sentence, that compares the two lengths. So we have two lengths here, we'll compare them, and we'll use the expression shorter than, or we could use longer than in that sentence. Let's do it. Okay, so look at this first one. Both of them are one meter, okay? And it's always important to take a moment and check that out, that the full length is one meter. And so we know there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so each of these is 10 centimeters, right? Okay, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. Plus, now this is decomposed into hundredths. And if you look very closely, squint at it, it is eight, I think, eight out of the ten. And so um, this is a hundred centimeters, so it's 68 hundredths of a meter. And the way we'd write that is exactly as you'd think. I'm going to write it up here. Okay, so this is, put a zero on the one's place to hold that, and then 68, what place am I in? Hundredths. 68 hundredths meters is this one. All right, now when we go to this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of ten. Oh, so that's seven tenths. We know what that looks like, right? Zero in that one's place, decimal point, seven tenths meters. And now, because we're writing it in decimal form here, that's why I'm writing it in decimal form. But I just want to take note here that I could also express this in terms of hundredths, which will make our job a little easier here to see that. Now, I could say, hey, those seven dimes, seven tenths, are 70 cents, right? So I could say this is also 70 hundredths of a meter. Because now when we go to do the comparison, we can see quite clearly that 70 hundredths is more than 68 hundredths. You might have been, oh, probably not, but maybe, you might have been a little confused otherwise to say, hey, 68 is more than 7, right? Which normally it is when we're talking about whole numbers, but now when we're talking about hundredths and tenths. And so my sentence will just simply be, well, I can, let's use uh, shorter then. We can say uh, 68 hundredths meters is shorter than 7 tenths meters. That's it. That's our sentence, yo. And let me tell you, shorter is beautiful. Taller is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Okay, moving on about stuff like this is that even if you try to make it more difficult or complicated, you just can't because it's straightforward stuff. So look at this one. We're again seeing each of these is one meter. So now here we have 10 parts. Five out of 10 are shaded. Five out of 10. Five tenths. That's it. You, you can't make this more complicated. Five tenths. Can we write five tenths as a decimal? I hope by lesson nine we can. Five tenths meter. And then we look at this one, we have four and that four tenths, and then we have four squint, four at, I'm pretty sure it's four out of ten here, and so it's forty-four hundredths, okay? And we could actually, when you, if you're writing this and you're like, how did you get to forty-four hundredths? Look at it this way, look, four tenths, I'm going to put a four in the tenths place. Four hundredths, I'm going to put a four in the hundredths place. Boom, and that's meters. So now a sentence I'm going to use uh, is greater than. And just so you're clear, Rio, and can see this, I can rewrite this five tenths as how many hundredths? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 hundredths. So just so make the comparison even more straightforward for you to see, 50 hundredths compared to 44 hundredths, we won't be fooled into thinking that, oh, five is less than 44 which it would be if these were whole numbers, but we're dealing with tenths and hundredths. So we're going to write uh, is longer than 
Uh, so we have what? Which one's longer? Yes, 50 hundredths is longer than 44 hundredths, right? We see that? Good. Okay, so we're going to say uh, 5 tenths meter is longer than 44 hundredths meter. But um, I think we got one more of these. Let's check it out. Isn't doing homework kind of fun in a way? You get that sense of fulfillment, satisfaction, accomplishment. Well, let's do it again then. So we're going to list all four lengths from least to greatest. And what I wrote here is I just copied them in order so we'd have them before us. And before we go ahead and do that, let's remind ourselves that these ones that are expressed as tenths, the seven tenths and five tenths meter, that we can rewrite those as you know, equals as hundredths, as 70 hundredths here. And we could say that this one equals 50 hundredths, which we had done before, but just to be clear, so it helps us to see. Now these are all hundredths. And so now we can kind of just think of them in terms of numbers. 68 hot dogs, 70 hot dogs, 50 hot dogs, 44 hot dogs. They're all hundredths, they're all hot dogs, whatever. Okay, so which is, because we're looking for least, which is least? Okay, so 68, 70, 50, 44 hundredths? It's going to be 44. Okay, so it is 44 hundredths meters. And then what comes next? Okay, the 50 hundredths, but we're going to write it in the form we were given it, which would be as uh, 5 tenths. That's what the diagram had. And what would come next? 68 hundredths, because we're going from smallest to largest, least to greatest. And then what's last? Of course, yes, 7 tenths. We'll write the 7 tenths. You wouldn't be wrong to write 70 hundredths. It's just not the best. And so this is our answer here. Um, so if you even want to, like, you know, you don't have to copy what I wrote up here. That was just notes. But, but here's our actual answer. So if your teacher's confused, we know that this is just notes and this is the actual answer. Can you believe 1C is already done? Let's roll on to number two. Rolling. Well, aren't you just truly grateful for some of the more exciting things in life like rolling chairs that spin? My students drive me nuts with these rolling spinning chairs, but you know, you got to have something to do. My school gets boring, so you know, I let them and I just go, patience, breathe, and I have fun myself when they're not here. Ha! Ah, and look at this. This is fun too. This is like, this decimal homework is less like a blast, isn't it? We're going to examine, examine the mass. Mass is a synonym, pretty much, not scientifically so, but a synonym for weight. What's the mass? How much uh, gravitational pull do these have? Examine the mass of each item as shown below on the one kilogram scales. Put an X over the items that are heavier than the volleyball. There, that, my friends, that's the volleyball. V is for Ven uh, volleyball. Um, so who's heavier than the volleyball? Well, look, they, they kind of made this straightforward for us because they gave us everything in hundredths. They didn't even give us tenths to mess with our heads here. So 25 hundredths kilograms. Soccer balls, 43. Is 43 more than 25 hundredths? Ah, yes, indeed. So we're to put an X over the items that are heavier than the volleyball. Boom! Boom! I don't know why an X. All right. And now we look at the basketball. 62 hundredths. Is that more than 25 hundredths? You betcha! Zoom! Ha! Baseball! 15 hundredths. Is that heavier than 25? No, it's not. No X there. So let's even put a little L. It's lighter. Nice. Okay, that's it for 2A. Let's go on to 2B and C. I bet I can get something stuck in your head all day. Okay. Later. Mama say mama sa mama husa. Mama say mama sa mama husa. That's gonna be in your head all day. All right, so I cut off the top. If you look at the top there, Brady Bunch. Uh, if you look at the top there, I cut off the, the illustrations, but I left the, the weights because we need those because we need to express the mass of each item on the place value chart. So the volleyball, we remember, was uh, 25 hundredths kilograms. So how many ones? Well, there are zero ones. And I'm, even though we probably don't need to, I'm going to place the decimal point there. And then tenths, there are two tenths. Hundredths, there are five hundredths. 
the 43 kilogram, 43 hundredths, sorry, 43 hundredths kilogram, you might recall was the soccer ball. Uh, same thing. I can't make this any more complicated. It's pretty straightforward. Four tenths, three hundredths. They, they made it pretty straightforward by giving us all these numbers in hundredths. The basketball, we have zero ones again. Now we have a decimal point. Then we have how many tenths? Six. And how many hundredths? Two. Now, unless you think this is a fruitless exercise, you're thinking, oh, okay, well, how many tenths, how many hundredths in each of these? This is a good thing to do. And the baseball, lastly, we had zero ones again, but with one tenth and five hundredths. Now, we're going to complete these statements here using the words heavier than, lighter than, in your statements. The soccer ball is blinkety blank, the baseball. Well, the soccer ball is 43 hundredths, the baseball is 15 hundredths. 43 is more than 15, because we're talking about hundredths in both cases. So the soccer ball is, uh, yes, you said heavier than, right? I heard you right. Okay, the soccer ball is heavier than. Which, does that answer make sense? Uh, yeah, it does. The volleyball is blankety blank, the basketball. Well, a volleyball is 25 hundredths. Basketball is 62 hundredths. 25 is less than 62 because we're talking about hundredths in both cases. So the volleyball is lighter than the basketball, which if you think about in real life, that is also true. I've never weighed them on the kilogram scale, I must confess, but it makes sense. So the volleyball is lighter than the basketball. That's it, number three. And so in number three here we have uh, these cylinders. So we did uh, we did length. I don't know if you noticed this. There's a pattern here. We did length uh, with meters, right? And then we did mass or weight in kilograms. And now we're doing volume or capacity in liters. And so we have these pretty little cylinders here. And we really don't even need the drawings here so much. Um, because we have these numbers listed here, 7 tenths liter, 62 hundredths, 28 hundredths, 4 tenths, 85 hundredths, 2 tenths liters. Okay, so now let me switch over to the questions. Boom, Magic! All right, so now, before I even get into things, just for a little clarity of mind, I'm going to look at the ones that are expressed in tenths and just rewrite them in terms of hundredths so that I do not confuse myself. All right, and by myself, I mean you. All right, so seven tenths is how many hundredths? Yes, it is 70 hundredths liter. And just a little side note here, you notice that when we write the word liter, it is with a lowercase l, as should be. Um, and yet the abbreviation for liter is a capital L, so it doesn't get confused with the one. And then down here with four tenths liter, I can rewrite that as how many hundredths? 40 hundredths liter. And same thing here. With two tenths, I can rewrite that. That is an equal sign. Okay. I can rewrite that as 20 hundredths liter. Beautiful. That'll help when we get down here. So the volume of water in liters. So these are in, as you see, they're in alphabetical order. So this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. See it again? There it is. There we go. Okay. So they're just in order. I don't have to worry about that. All right. So with A, there are zero ones decimal point, and again, you're not necessarily having to write that, but I like to, and then we have seven tenths. Now, for me, you, you don't need to write the zero and the hundredths, and in fact, in Eufrica land, you don't because you're given seven tenths, but guess what? I'm going to write that zero there for hundredths, so when I go to do these comparisons here, it's even more apparent to me what's right. B is zero, decimal point, six tenths, two hundredths, and I'm not going to belabor this one because I think it's pretty straightforward. That's a shoddy two. Two! That's even worse. Try it again. Two. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, C is 28 hundredths. Zero decimal point. Two tenths. Eight hundredths. D? Yeah. And we rewrote that one in hundredths, which is what I'm going to use to make things clear for us all. Forty hundredths or four tenths. E is... There it is, zero decimal point, eight tenths, five hundredths. And lastly, F is zero a decimal point, 
two tenths and no hundredths. And again, with these zeros and hundredths, you don't necessarily need them, and Eureka doesn't put them in, but I think it makes the comparisons much more apparent. So in our first, so here we're just doing greater than, less than, equal to, all right? So, and writing the hundredths will especially help us with D here, by the way. So when we're looking at uh, four tenths compared to two tenths, four tenths, like a tent you sleep in, four tenths compared to two tenths, four tenths is more than two tenths, y'all. So that is greater than. You see why? I hope so. Okay, now here's where the hundredths will help us. 62 hundredths compared to, the way we wrote it, 72 hundredths. 62 hot dogs, 70 hot dogs. 62 hot dogs is less than 70 hot dogs. And the mistake here would be to say 62 is more than 7, of course, but we're talking about different things. We're talking about hundredths versus tenths. 62 pennies compared to 7 dimes is less. 2 tenths compared to 28 hundredths. Well, the 2 tenths we rewrote here as 20 hundredths. So 20 hundredths compared to 28 hundredths. 20 hot dogs is less than 28 hot dogs. And just for the record, I don't eat hot dogs. Just can't bring myself to do it. Unless they're free. Just kidding. All right, vol write the volume of water in each graduated cylinder. Graduate just means it's marked with those steps of a scale. That's what those are up there. Here they are again. Boom, graduated cylinders. Okay, write the volume of water in each in order from least to greatest. Well, which one is the smallest here? And this, this is where writing them out in hundredths is especially helpful. We can look at these numbers. They're all hundredths, so we can just compare them kind of the same way we would with whole numbers. Which of these numbers is the least? 20 is the least of those. And so I'm going to write, but I'll write it as 2 tenths, which is how we were given it. And I will put liters on all these, comma. We're going from least to greatest. Always double check that, because they switch that on you. Um, and then what comes next after 20? 28 hundredths. So 0 0.28 liters, comma. What comes next? Well, there's nothing in the 30s. Oh, but then we have 40, which was originally given to us as 4 tenths, so that's how I'll write it. 0 0.4, 4 tenths liters, and I have to fix that 4. I've been much better with my 4s lately. All right, there's nothing in the, else in the 40s or the 50s, and then we come to 62 hundredths, so that would be next, going from least to greatest. 62 hundredths liters, and what comes next? Nothing else in the 60s, but then we hit 70 hundredths, which was originally given to us as 7 tenths. So that's how we'll record it here. 7 tenths liters. Nothing else in the 70s, and then we get to, yes, 85 hundredths. 0 0.85 liters. 85 hundredths liters. Well, look, can you believe it? We are free at last. That was great homework time. I hope you enjoyed it at least one hundredth as much as I did. And so I will see you again next time. It is once again homework time.